Are we in the right depth? Yes, sir, we are. Whack them. <laughs> this feels like a pretty decent fish right here, guys. Hello again, Wired fam. Hope everybody's doing well. Today is actually the day after Christmas and we are gonna go to the lake. Why are we going to the lake? Because it's 67 degrees outside and we're gonna take advantage of it. No wind, 67 degrees, bright sunny skies. We're going fishing, all right? So what are we gonna do today? I'm gonna show you guys how I slip float. We're gonna go through my slip float setup. I use a float, guys, that is completely different than any other float that you guys have seen in any video. So it's a very, very good float. It's absolutely awesome. The float actually does not um, get hung on your line. Like when you pitch out, you know, some of you guys that use the fill floats that the line goes through the float, this float eliminates all of that. It does not get bound up. It slides great. It's an awesome float. So we're gonna go through that today. Stick with us. But let's get this baby hooked up. Let's get to the lake. We'll be right back with you. We got a couple right here, guys. Let's see if we can get one of these. There he is. Got him. Good fish. Big fish right here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't like seeing that float go down? Check that out. Boy, that's a pretty white crappie. Nice big fish. Pretty, pretty fish. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Do it again next time. Man is still alive. Oh, yeah. He's still good. Let's catch another one on that. I thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I mean, there's fish in here. Um, now whether they'll bite or not. I've caught four or five. I just, I just can't stand this many people. Like I'm gonna go down river, son. Go down river. Yeah, I'll probably leave out of here here in a little bit. I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna fish a couple spots and then I'll probably leave too. There he is, guys. Got him. Got him. Good fish. Good solid fish on the slip float there, guys. There goes Jimmy Pratt. Everybody wave to Jimmy. Hey, Mr. Jimmy, we got one. <laughs> nice fish, guys. Nice slip float fish. All right, so let's take a minute and let me show you guys my setup, how I rig a slip float. Quick, easy, simple slip float, okay? There's a couple different slip float uh, bobber stops, okay? I'll show you guys uh, both of them, and I'll tell you which one's my favorite. So you've got the uh, rubber bead, that's bobber stop, okay? And then you've got the tie bobber stops, the ones that you slide and tie. If I had to pick, this would be my... Uh, bobber stop of choice okay now why is that that bobber stop is my bobber stop of choice for a couple different reasons one it is very easy it slides very well up and down the line 
and two where the rubber st the rubber bobber stop kind of gets held up in your guides a little bit this one slides through your guides a little easier and if you ever have to fish deep and you have to reel this into your reel this will snag your line in your reel every time this still snags it in your reel a little but not as bad okay so that's the one that i choose to go with all right that is what goes on your line first so let me go through real quick eight foot acc crappie stick all right guys that's the ac uh, the eight foot acc crappie stick that is a medium fast rod okay fluger try on size 25 reel you guys know i like the fluger try on size 25 so that's what's on all my rods um, and why the eight foot rod so normally i fish with six or six and a half but i go with an eight foot rod that way i can fish a little deeper i got a little more rod where i can reel that bobber stop up not get it into my spool um, also I want to be able to um, pick up a lot of line, okay? Because when you're slip floating, you're generally slack to the float, right? And I want to be able to, when I swing to set the hook on that fish, I want to be able to pick up a lot of line real quick. So that eight foot rod helps me with picking up line that's laying on the water as well. So that's why I go with an eight foot rod. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how I rig this slip float setup, okay? Um, before we do, let's talk about the float because this is everything. This is this is a new float that I've been using. Okay, this is a fill float, but it's called a gold metal fill stealth float. This is an eighth ounce. Okay, this is a fill stealth float. And for those of you that have used the fill floats before, similar to this float, okay, you know the line goes through the end here and comes out, goes all the way through the float and comes out there. What happens with this float, guys, is when water gets inside that chamber, your line gets stuck a lot of times, okay? And you can't get it to go down. You gotta put a lot of weight on this float to get your line to come through it. So what this Phil Stealth float does is it actually, I'm gonna try to get where you guys can see this. Can you see on the end of that? I hope you can see it. There's a little hole right in the end of that float, okay? I hope you guys can see it right there. There's a little hole right in the end of this float, and that's actually where your line goes through, okay? So, uh, let's see here, let me spot lock, uh, spot lock us. All right, so that is actually where your line goes through, is right there in the end. Now, what does that do? Well, I'll show you guys as we're rigging today why that's so good, okay? So let's go ahead we're gonna put our slip float on there. We're gonna slide the line right through there. Put that on our line, okay? Then slide it up about two feet. Then what you wanna do is you wanna pull that little plastic piece off there. Go ahead and drop it. Then take these two little tag ends and just cinch her down, right like that. You don't have to be real, real tight, okay? That's it. Some people leave these, some people cut them. For my purpose, I cut them. I don't like to have a lot of extra tag end hanging off okay take a pair of scissors cut it there's your bobber stop all right now the bead these come with little beads in them see those little green beads you're gonna put a little bead behind that all right what is the bead for well the bead is so that bobber stop doesn't slide through your hole in your float all right so there is our bead so we got our bead on there okay next is the float itself okay so we're gonna go right through that little hole in the end all right now you guys see that float hanging there right well let's talk about this a second a lot of times when a crappie strikes he strikes up right if you have a traditional float like this on there what's that float gonna do it's just gonna raise up this float because it's on the line as such Okay, you've got your float and it's sitting in the water like this right here. If a crappie comes and picks that line up, that float's gonna lay over sideways, right like that, on the top of the water. That float's just gonna lay over to the side, that's a fish, okay? Awesome, 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 awesome float. That is a fill stealth, okay? It's called a stealth. You guys can look them up. 
I'm not sponsored by them. I buy them just like you guys do, but I absolutely love, you can see the line in the bottom of that float, absolutely love that float. And it slides every time. You cast it out, it slides up and down that line every single time, just perfect, okay? So, what do what split shot do I pair with that, that 1 8 ounce Phil Stealth? That's a number five, okay? Number five split shot right there okay that's what i pair it with it is absolutely perfect as far as weight's concerned so slide my weight on there i want to go about eight to ten inches above my hook pinch that down on there good okay there's that then i'm gonna go right here i've got a number two gold aberdeen eagle claw okay that's a number two gold aberdeen eagle claw hook i'll go on there improved clinch knot all right so pull it through wrap it around the line one two three four go through that first loop and then back through the loop we created cinch her down tight bite her off with your teeth which you're not supposed to do and there you have it there's your slip float setup okay guys number two gold aberdeen you got your um split shot your slip float your bead and then your bobber stop and you can set that to any depth you want all right so you can slide that bobber stop up and down that line get the depth right like you like it or need it for whatever depth you're fishing whatever depth the fish are sitting at but that's it guys real simple okay that again is a new float i have not seen anybody using that float for crappie you can see how it's sitting on that line so when that when that slides down and hits that bobber stop that bobber's going to stand up just like that in the water but if a fish comes and picks it up okay fish comes and picks it up and goes up with it that float's going to lay over sideways just like that just like it is on that line right there absolutely great float i, I will never fish with another float other than that phil stealth okay so let's see if we can't uh well i'll show you guys what it looks like here when it goes in the lake how about that so you guys can see that on there okay you take that slide it out there in the lake boom right there perfect okay now see if a fish picked it up it would lay over sideways see how that's laying sideways on the lake all right there it is fish grabs it and goes down okay fish picks it up comes up it lays right over sideways absolutely absolutely great float absolutely love it so hope that helps you guys um hope that helps you sh or helps show you how i set up my slip float rig let's see if we can't go catch a few fish mustang sally down out down just eat it no one wants to eat it, eat it. I'm going to turn my foot pedal. Hey, where we go. Now we're actually look like we know what we're doing. Kinda. Let's get that in here. Let's get it over there on them fish. Here you go, fishies. Get you some. get you some there they come are we in the right depth yes sir we are whack them <laughs> this feels like a pretty decent fish right here guys oh it's a good fish oh it's a big fish come on baby -ya! <laughs> yeah yeah swinging them on that acc come on with it that eight foot acc swinging them big pigs in check that out nice white crappie guys pretty pretty white crappie pretty fish let's let him go thank you bud see ya <laughs> get you some there's more down there too we gotta get back in there we gotta get back in there no doubt need the right size minner there we go Little minners catch big fish, guys. Little minners. 
Put the Mohicus on that one, didn't we? Caddy Wampus. Put that old Caddy Wampus on them. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can see. Here's one. That float or not, but whack them. <laughs> that was not as big as the last one. I sure hope you guys can see some of that. That's a little one. That's just a baby. All right. Here, fishy, fishy. There it was. There he is. Got him. Did you guys see that float go down? That ain't a crappie. That's a striped bass. Look at there. Little white bass. Catch them all, guys. Everything eats a minnow. Now watch out for them gill plates on them, guys. They'll get you. They'll get you. That is not what we're looking for. We're looking for crappie. We're not looking for that. Hopefully that's not all that's down there. Oh, come here, bud. Oh, come here. Do you not want to play today? What's going on with you? What's going on with you? All right. There we go. Let's see if we can get one right there. Generally, you drop a minnow down there, guys, they get it pretty quick. It don't take them long to figure out there's food down there. So if you're going to get bit, you're typically going to get bit pretty quick if they're active. If you got the depth right, you got it in front of the fish, and they're active, it's not going to take them too terribly long. There he is. Got him. And a bass. We're catching everything today. Oh, a little largey. Calm down. We're going to let you go. A little largey, guys. Look at that. A little bit of everything today. See you, buddy. That's money. That's money. Already, look at that. Do you guys see that? There was already one on it. Is it bottomed out? That's what I mean. If you get that depth right and you get the area right, there he is. Float going down. Got him. Got him, guys. Got him. Gosh, I love seeing that float go down. I don't care if it's a six inch or a two pounder, I love seeing that float. <laughs> oh, man. Like a kid. That stealth float, just bottoming out. I love it. There he is, guys. That was quick. Stripe. There's stripe, there's bass, there's crappie. This pile's loaded with fish. That's something else, guys, fishing with minnows. 
so much fun because you're liable to catch you're liable to catch anything I mean you're liable to catch anything down there you never know you know you never know what you're gonna catch that's what's so much fun about it let's go over this way a little bit let's try over yonder let's try over yonder see what happens see if we can get one right here oh there he is see that float go over sideways did you guys see that floats looks big shad right here guys can you guys see that big shad right there <laughs> did you guys see that float turn over sideways that was a strike And I missed him. And he got my worm. That's all right. We're going to put it right back down there in his face. There's a worm on the deck. Let's get that worm off the deck. We don't need that worm. We don't need that worm. There he goes. See it going down? Got him. Decent fish. Decent fish. Eater. Nice eater, guys. Good fish. On back. Kabloop. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that helps you understand how I set up my slip float rig. And don't forget, try them. That Phil Stealth, guys. I'm telling you, you guys can see it firsthand. It is an absolute diamond of a bobber or float, whichever one you call them, for crappie fishing, especially for slip floating. It is probably the best slip float bobber that I have ever used, and I've used them all. So check it out. Get you a couple. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your comments are. Leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget, subscribe before you leave. If you made it this far in the video, you like the content, subscribe before you leave. Um, we got a 10,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. When we get to 10,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a two-day fishing trip with me here in East Tennessee. I will pay for your motel room and your fishing license. All you'll have to cover is your food and your gas to get down here, guys. And we're going to fish for two days, two different lakes. So, um, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. That's how you get entered. One lucky subscriber is going to win that giveaway. And I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, God bless. We'll see you next week.